Okay, so I ended the last null video stating that the sequel was even better than the first. After replaying the sequel, I don't think that's actually true. It's still really good, don't get me wrong. It's just considerably less funny and witty than the first one. Kate's voice actor also changed, which isn't a bad thing, but it's just not as good as the original. If I'm not back in an hour, clear out and contact headquarters. Well, I hope when they catch the bastard, they put a bullet right between his eyes. The gameplay is still mostly there, a little less stealth focused than the first one. Also, there's only, there's only about 15 chapters and like five of them are taken up by a single location. And then a bunch of them are in a location and then you come back to the location multiple times. It's a little less linear. Um, but probably not in a good way for, uh, for a stealth game. It just felt a lot less like a globe-trotting adventure and a little more personal. Some favorite characters return, some favorites are not there. So this is our full journey through No One Lives Forever 2, A Spy in Harm's Way. For real this time, uh, you're never gonna hear about No One Lives Forever again. Uh, unless it does the Dead Space thing where I said you're never gonna hear a Dead Space again, then it got remastered. You never know. Maybe that's a good, a good curse to have. But first, check this out. So I know this might be surprising, but Tales from the Borderlands is one of my favorite games of all time. It's characters, it's writing, it's just incredible. I'm not even the biggest fan of Borderlands, to be honest. I truly believe Tales from the Borderlands is the best Borderlands game. And that's why I'm honored to announce this video's new sponsor, Telltale's new game, The Expanse. Now I need to actually go back and finish watching the Expanse series, but from what I've seen, it is real good. So having a Telltale game in that universe that has their style, I'm in baby. You play as an executive officer aboard the Artemis, a scavenging ship hunting for the next big score. And you of course have all the tense relationships and powerful personalities and you have to make those devastating choices, which I'm sure won't get anyone killed. The Expanse is being released episodically every two weeks and is out now on Xbox, PlayStation and PC on the Epic Games Store. So check out the link below and thank you to Telltale for allowing me to make these videos on early 2000s shooters and actually get paid for it. Mission 1 is Kate Archer Must Die. There's a rumored crime convention located in Japan, so that's where we're headed. This game opens with a sneak peek at a few of the new antagonists of the game. One being the leader of the Katakuri Ninja Clan, Esako. And the other one is the big man himself, the Director of Harm. Now, exactly at this point, I had to alt-tab out of the game and clarify a joke that I made in my original video. You remember that drunk guy who is everywhere? Well, apparently, he is the director, or at least according to the Nolf wiki, he is like the same model as the director. And then I made this throwaway joke. I hate this guy. He's everywhere. Everywhere I go, this fucker's there. Maybe he's the bad guy. <laughs> Now, I don't believe the developers would have had this plan from the get-go. This is probably one of those Saw lore things where they add it after the fact, but look, this was a throwaway line. It was correct, which you can believe me or not. There's just no way that I would have remembered that this guy was this guy. But I'm kind of pissed that they didn't let me cap his ass in the original now, though. They said he's a civilian. Yeah, okay. Now, like I mentioned in the opening, I don't think the humor in this game is as good as the first. It's like... Honestly, it's not even close, but it still has its charm. But if you're expecting such classics as the awful code phrases from the original one, you're probably going to be incredibly disappointed. Anyway, the director tells Asako to go kill Kate Archer. She reluctantly agrees and seems like she's working for harm against her will. There's a few key gameplay differences in Nolf 2, but I'll get to them when they arise. I'll wait for you here. If I'm not back in an hour, clear out and contact headquarters. It's not like you to be cynical. Call it a hunch. Something about this assignment feels wrong. Wish me luck. It's me, Santa. Say hello to the Mark VII mechanized minor bird. Perfect way for me to communicate with you in the field. Now then. I'm gonna be honest with you here, bird. I want to shoot you so bad. Man, I completely forgot the intel that you find in this game. is isn't just like quirky dialogue, it actually gives you points to basically level up certain stats. I don't know how impactful any of this is. I don't even know what we're doing. Dude, shut up! She's right there! 
I have to kill her. She's going to hear the bird yapping for 40 minutes. Oh my god. He's talking about stealth, how ironic. Now much like the Morocco mission in the first game, there is a lot of tutorial stuff in this one, so I'm gonna skip past a lot of it, but basically, we sneak our way into the village, we learn about stealth, presence, picking up bodies, which is a huge feature. Unfortunately, stealth isn't really that appetizing in this one. Some of the missions, of course, you have to, but, but for the most part, I turn Kate Archer into an absolute serial murdering nightmare. Do you wanna go shopping in Nagoya this weekend? I can't. I have an assassination. Get Haruko to do it. She's still mad at me about her cat. What about Yuki? I'll ask her. Let me know. Look, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't feel great about killing these ladies. They make you listen to them organize a shopping trip. Right before you end their existence. <laughs> Alright, you think this is my makeup? Hell no, this is my decoder. Right, so there's a secret message hidden around. On these things, the red mailbox should be open. The grey mailbox should be closed. Alright, there's only three mailboxes. We don't really need to find the one for the blue one. We can uh, we can just open and close it and I'm sure one of them will be work. Hey, nice. Hey man, what's the what the hell is with the mailboxes? Can't I just knock a song on the door like everyone else? Yeah, I don't think there's gonna be an option on this one. I think there might be a load of Oh, shit. Oh, God. That hurt. The hell was that spin? Oh, my God. These guys are... I'm so sorry. I'll mark the location of the meeting on this map. All right, so we're here. I don't know what that is. That might be Slender Man or something. That's where we have to take the photo. This map sucks, man. Okay, I'm gonna try out the fireball. Something just really appetizing about shooting this one with <laughs> fireball. Oh god, okay. I'm sorry. That may have been a little over the top. I only got two of those as well. Let's get rid of this real quick. Okay, I think they can still see that, but that's fine. Angry kitty? Oh man, I can't wait to use this. So I forgot to use the angry kitty. Um, I never used it. Sensei, the spy is here. Kill her. She doesn't kill me. Her assassins and herself have katanas, while I have a silent submachine gun, so it goes about as well as you'd expect. So it was a trap. But why? Don't be naive, you have many enemies. Which one sent you? A secret admirer then? How flattering. I'm impressed. I didn't expect you to make it this far. I'm sorry. She actually gets me. You weren't expecting that, were you? You're sure she's dead? Of course she is. Isako doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> Do you, Isako? Uh, here's the number where you can reach me, old boy. Although I'd encourage you not to. Sir, please reconsider. I haven't had a proper vacation for 15 years. I won't be talked out of this one. I was referring to the idea of leaving me in charge. After a two week hiatus, after, you know, being stabbed with a katana, we're right back at it. The chief from the first game is actually leaving on vacation, and we basically never see him again. It's a real shame, I like that guy. Instead, Bruno will be leading the operation. There's also these two new characters, it's Isaac Barnes and General Morgan Hawkins. I don't know about these two, I guess they're fine. Think of like the most stereotypical US major and you'll know exactly what his character is. We should have force fed them commies a nuclear sandwich back in 62. We learn that the Soviets are looking to invade the island of Kios with a super weapons program called Project Omega. And boy howdy, are you in for a journey on this one. This path leads back to the plane. There's nothing worth seeing in that direction. Hey. Don't tell me what to do, bird. Okay, the bird was right. There is nothing to see in this direction. 
Now these guys find our secret shack. Intruder? This is our house, brother. What the hell, intruder? Where's the other guy? Oh, he's coming down the stairs. Jeez, man. Oh, good God. I am going to have to remember this. It's all good, guys. Don't worry. He's sleeping. I've changed my ways. <laughs> hey, what the hell, man? I'm tasing your sleeping friend. Okay, now he's dead. Hello, Russian NPC. I want to play a little game. Oh, that didn't work. You know what? If he gets up and he accidentally steps on it, that's on him. We'll just let that one play itself out. Once we get the gas for the snowmobile, the level opens up a little. This game has a lot more opened end levels, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Not that I love linear, of course, but when it comes to stealth games, I think tight level design is more desirable than, well, this. <laughs> I feel like this is our only bridge back, and we're blowing it up. You know, whatever, you do the objective. You don't question it. Maybe they're... Maybe they won't blow up uh, right away, you know? Ah! We just have to drive to all these specific spots and plant our bombs until we eventually end up at their records building. Eh, don't mind me fellas, just uh, picking a lock to the abyss, I think. Come for hunting. Admit it. Yeah, we are spies! Okay, we have to infiltrate this building with nothing but a couple of bananas. Oh shit! Okay, one banana. I'm not even worried about the alarms anymore. <laughs> Who the hell is crying? <laughs> Until further notice, the sugar will be kept under lock and key to prevent a repeat of last Saturday's generator sabotage. To request the sugar, file a requisition form for your commanding officer. We're gonna need the sugar, aren't we? Hey brother, how's it going? <laughs> Man, look at him cower. Man, they kind of run like the uh, civilians in blood. You know what I'm- you- you're- Oh fuck, I'm stuck. He's trapped me, he's a genius. Uh, maybe I can trap him? Oh, that hurt him. Okay, that's not working. Oh no. Um, banana? Banana doesn't work. I gotta sleep? Yeah, 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 sleep grenade. Okay. That worked. That worked. We're good. We're free. Hey! <laughs> Look, I got ridiculously lost in this damn building. I finally found the secret computer we needed to find with some information about Project Omega on it. Something about after invading Kiosk, they want to build a five-star communist casino and hotel. Something tells me this has nothing to do with actual Project Omega. I know this because I write these parts in post. And I know what Project Omega is. Anyway, we book it and escape the complex as all the bombs we plant go off conveniently just as we pass them so we look cool as hell. Harm does try to stop us by planting bombs in our plane, but we put an abrupt end to that. The idiot should have just thrown a grenade or something. A little. Let's do one more. Bring in Laramie. Please, don't do this. <laughs> I beg you. Feed him into the machine. hell is this machine? This is some horror shit, man. What the hell? He's alive? Oh. I'm still upset. Mr. Folkoff was disappointed to learn that Kate Archer is still alive. Then let him kill her. Don't be impertinent. She's not my enemy. She's my enemy and you're my retainer. Or have you forgotten who saved your life all those years ago? In the search for more information on this Project Omega, we gotta check out all the old harm locations and leads. So that leads us right to Melvin's house. And by Melvin, I mean Tim Goodman, the double agent doppelganger from the first game. You know, the one with the shirt. Then explain that shirt. What's wrong with it? This level's kind of spooky. It's got some good atmosphere. You can almost see Monolith's Condemned roots coming through in this level. I really like it. 
No, not the chief. Ah, oh, you will pay for this. After absolutely gunning the shit out of her and all of her ninjas, she says fuck this and we take off in a house inside of a tornado and forces us into a katana fight. This is actually super cool, the house is slowly falling apart in the air and certainly for the time this looks incredibly dope. It doesn't matter, she still loses, she flies away in the tornado and hits us with a bye bye. Bye bye! So at this point in the game, we must invade the India branch of harm. To do this, we have to pull the help of an old friend. Well, he was an enemy, but I, I think he's a friend now. This is Magnus Armstrong himself. Also, we learned that Dimitri, the assassin from the first game, also survived the falling down that ice cavern. It was, you know, the one that I, I laughed at. But he hires a hitman to kill Kate Archer. You know, assuming that he can't do it himself now because he, I think we broke every bone inside of his body. It doesn't stop him from trying later on, don't you worry. This guy's like a mime or something. I don't, like, I don't know about this whole, I don't know about this whole part, but. Uh, we're off to India, and this this mission, it, it's a doozy. Ain't no way he sees me behind this wall. See, I got the little hidden icon and everything. I see you! God oh, dear! Here's your stupid purse. I can't believe you made me stand here with oh, that I'm girl. sorry, brother. Was that embarrassing? You don't know what I went through, huh? <laughs> uh, so the Indian police officers... You're not allowed to kill them, believe it or not. I know, a shocker. They chase you slowly and they can get exhausted, but they're fucking annoying as hell, and the start of this level blows, so I'm gonna skip over it. So we end up in the same area as before, except this time we have to pull down eight wanted posters with our faces and names on it. See, the problem is the posters don't spawn on the map. You, the police officers have to walk around and slowly put them up. Again, a, a baffling design choice, but I won't make you watch this either. I was, it's me just standing there watching as a police officer walks around and puts the poster up and then me slowly going behind making sure that he doesn't see me and then just pulling him down. Eight times. Eight times. This guy walks so- look, this is not a good mission. Don't worry about it. I have a great idea. Hey Banerjee, how's this feel? What horrible agony! <laughs> you should wash your hands with hot water. I suggest you wash your hands with hot All right, water. Alright, I'll wash my hands with hot water. Seems weird. Okay, that's not it. This is not the right hot water. What a lovely day! <laughs> this one? Oh! Corner stall. He could have just told me to go to the bathroom. What the heck? That would sound a lot less weird. Alright, we gotta get into this vault. There's, there's, there's info in there about Project Omega. We gotta find out about Project Omega. I tell you, the woman is driving me crazy. I warned you not to marry her. Not my wife, you idiot. Her mother. She was so sweet and friendly up until the wedding. Then she turned into a vicious demon. Man, that poor guy's gone through the oh, ringer already. We're just gonna put him to sleep. We're gonna kill him. This way to the vault? Oh my god. Good gracious. They got the saw trap set up in here. Okay, we're just gonna strut on by. What is this room? Okay, you just gotta turn the lights and that disables the one above you. That's fine. We can handle that. Let's um, disable this one before we come back through this way. What's this? <laughs> We regret that we have not been able to obtain any rabid ferocious weasels for your death trap. Our supplier assures us a shipment is en route from Canada. In the meantime, please accept these temporary substitutes. While not as deadly as rabid weasels, these creatures can be quite petulant. Oh no, they sent them bunnies. <laughs> they don't they don't do anything. Oh man, that's a good that's a good one. Okay, so this is the first of many bugs we run into running this old game on modern hardware. The safe just wouldn't open. I, I cracked it and it just it wouldn't open and you wouldn't believe what I had to do to open it. Am I doing something wrong? Is that good? Oh! Okay, you just shoot it and it opens. Well, my good friend, Project Omega is proceeding right on schedule. We've had a couple of minor setbacks, but nothing to worry about. The world will never forget 1966, the year of Omega. We're going to permanently raise the bar in evil doomsday schemes. 
So when are you coming to visit me in Antarctica? I'm starved for intelligent conversation. We're about two hours due south of Roskaya by plane. There isn't much to do, but we have a ping pong table. Please destroy after reading. Look what you did, you idiot! Me! This is your fault! My fault? You weren't even looking where you were going! That is an exaggeration! Maybe I looked away for a second, but you're the one who come racing around the corner like a maniac! I thought I saw a monkey! So did I! That's why I was looking back! Likely story, why would a monkey chase you? Sometimes they smell my bananas! Last week a mob of them attacked me. They stole half my stock. They're always after my mangoes too. It seems we have a common enemy, my friend. You don't suppose? Suppose what? Can it be a coincidence that two fruit vendors should glimpse monkeys at the exact same moment, at the exact same street corner, causing them both to panic simultaneously, resulting in a collision that disables both carts? You mean they engineered this? Those bastards! Be wary, my friend! They may attack at any moment! They have guns! Man, what a story. Shit! They're endless. What? Why would you run around the corner with the enemies, you dumb fuck? We eventually catch up to the mime assassin and we pull him off. We pull off his jacket and it turns out he's just a little small man. We jump onto a tricycle with Magnus Armstrong and the chase ensues. Unfortunately this game seems a lot more unstable than the first one even with all the modern patches. So this chase had like the mime running at the wrong frame rate and falling behind and just disappearing completely. I tried a bunch of times and even when we caught up we just got stuck at the end of the level so I had to do a level skip on this one. We're headed to Antarctica to finally find out what Project Omega is. I swear, for real this time. Something's wrong. I didn't realize I was in the company of a genius. I've kicked your ass before, I can do it again. Look, I'm gonna give him this. This is this game's a lot spookier than the first one. We're in this ominous secret base, it's all boarded up. I hear someone screaming. I love this little Unity keychain. I gotta get me one of these. Oh, we need this. No. Never mind. I'm just gonna instantly die. Oh boy. This doesn't bode well. Oh god. What the hell, man? Man, this reminds me of Return to Castle Wolfenstein so much. What the hell are you? Jesus. We're all going to die. You're definitely going to. Oh god! <laughs> okay, I deserve that. That's right. Super soldiers. We escape the facility, but unfortunately we have to leave Magnus behind, trapped under this newly discovered beast. I'm sure he'll be fine. Remember when I shot him in the face and he survived and instead he punched me once and I died? Yeah, he, he's gonna be fine. But we do have to head back to India to stop the super soldier invasion, which is the same level again. <laughs> Man, this is worse than the time Morocco was a complete disaster. And that mission ends in like, I don't know, 15 minutes before we head back to Unity. We found out that Magnus is indeed still alive and he's in harm's custody, so we must find and rescue him. There's some dumb stuff in Unity, like having to find Dr. Schenker's glasses, which leads to an attack of the mimes. I don't really think anyone needs to see this though. What you do need to see is that we hop aboard this shark sub and we head to the secret underwater base to save Magnus's ass. Anything any better today, Chuck? No, my deformed friend. Like all quantities, horror has its You're ultimate right. and uh, I'm that. Hey. That's from the Stuff brain that wouldn't die, head. right? I love that Just movie. Just wait till I find I never you. Thought I'd be able to relate to Jan in the pan. Hey, Sorry, bud. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Oh, don't act so surprised. I can't say I was expecting to see you here. You thought I'd leave you to die? Uh, you think you can get me out of this mess? Not a chance. I. Uh, oh, I. Uh, Huh? We end up killing the mime assassin, let Magnus free, but unfortunately the super soldier is also in the underwater base and he hits this one singular computer here and the whole base starts to blow up. Magnus escapes by fucking swimming away, but, but sadly we get captured and forced into the human cube maker.
Welcome to the Manhandler, ARM's latest all-purpose death trap and automated torture device. Let's take a look at what today's victim has in store, shall we? Man Crate! That's right, folks! The victim is about to become a living block of human misery. Heat up the griddle and get your spatulas ready. We're making man cakes! How about a bowl of chunky Manhattan-style man chowder? Mamma mia! It looks like today's victim is in for maximum punishment. Get ready for the main course, ladies and gentlemen. We're having spaghetti with man sauce. Man, thank God that blew up. I didn't want to become man sauce. Mmm, they didn't clean it from last time. Okay, all right. All right, that makes sense. Hey, what's wrong with that guy? <laughs> Oh, hell yes. Alright, robot, you want some of this? You, you want... <sighs> this game sucks. So you developed this new artificial lava? Sure did. You like it? Heck yeah. It's pretty damn spiffy compared to that crap we used to have. It can handle temperatures up to 343 kelvins. The previous substance deconstituted at around 313 kelvins. I take baths hotter than that. Isn't really Is this hotter than your bath? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think you're going? We have unfinished business to attend to. <laughs> I don't think he's coming back from that one. On our way out, we actually defeat Asako as well. She doesn't fall into lava or anything. We actually spare her and we just become good friends. Ayonara. Right. Can't say much for your taste in employers. He was like a father. You're better off as an orphan. So the final mission has us eliminating all the super soldiers with this new serum made by Dr. Schenke. It's called the anti-super soldier serum. It causes a chemical reaction in the super soldiers that essentially boils their innards. We're hot damn. And it's abbreviated as ass. So that's pretty good. These guys go down so quick to a couple of shotgun blasts. Hey, eat ass, you bastards. <laughs> I think that's a wrap on, uh, on this video. What other jokes can I make? Well, that's enough for me. I'm long overdue for a pint or two. So, what happened anyway? I thought you were going to guard the flag. Don't even start, girly. I single-handedly fought off a super soldier invasion, and you couldn't even handle one little self-infatuated sissy with a target pistol. He took me by surprise. Maybe you would have heard him coming if you didn't have your head up your ass. Have some sympathy. I was shot. Multiple times! Ooh, poor baby. So thank you for watching everybody. This was Noah Forever 2. Uh, I apologize for the lack of videos this month. I've been working on Metroidvania month for August, so I've been playing a, a bunch of Metroidvania. Some of them are, are really long, some of them are really short. I'm also gonna have another merch drop in August with uh, Elvis the Alien, uh, collaborating with his Alien merch store with some some Silent Hills, some Resident Evil, some Elden Ring design, so stay tuned for that. I've also been working on Shocktober stuff, so that's coming up, so I'm working on the merch for Shocktober as well as the, the videos I need to get done for that month. So I will see you next month for Metroidvania month, baby. <laughs>